Paul McGillian, you always had, you know, Carson so often reflected the, what the audience was feeling. And I, I suspect you had to get that in response from fans. Uh, yeah, a lot. I mean, it was, it was such a, a lovely character to play, you know, and I think um, he kind of wears heart on his sleeve a lot, you know, mm-hmm. and it was so mm-hmm. sweet. And what, mine's more of a little, a little fan. I think I've told it before, but we were in Ireland and I was at a, in Dublin at a comic book signing a place called uh, forbidden planet and this little i love little kids and stuff and this little boy was in line and he had a little toucan and every time i looked up he was like you know give me a thumbs up and he finally got up to the table and he he said oh mr mcgillian i'm so happy to meet you i just love dr beckett i want to be a doctor someday i said oh that's that's great and he goes and i said what what uh, it's so lovely to meet you what can i get for you and he goes oh nothing sir i just got a piece of my birthday cake i just turned 11 and he gave me his cake on a, on a, on a napkin <laughs> and he walk, goes to walk away. I'm like, whoa, 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 get over here. I go, you can pick a, pick a picture for your birthday. He goes, oh, sir, we don't have any money. And his mom was standing close by. And I could just see, you could just tell, you know, they didn't have any, a lot of money. And I said, this is for your birthday. It's a gift from me. And he, the little face on him, it like broke my heart. Mm-hmm. And he goes, well, last, and he had to ask his mom if it's okay. And I said, it's okay if I give him a picture. And she looked at me and she gave me a little nod, you know, and it was okay. And he picked a picture and I, he, he was, he just took it as he walked away. He was just holding it, looking at it. And it just said to me, like, what an impact you can make. And you don't even yeah. realize it, you know, and a little guy like that, you know, and he, just, mm-hmm. he was so happy. And that's, I think, uh, a testimony. But, but how was the cake? I, <laughs> I, I, I bet it was good. It. <laughs> but, you know, it was just so sweet, you know, what a little, what a little guy and just make, make his day, you know, over, his, over something, over, or over a television show, you know, and. Yeah. And I think that's what Stargate does. Like, you know, all of you have mentioned different things, but it, it did bring, it does bring families together. And mm. you, you mentioned, you see all the different people that grow up with the show. And that's the, the that's what makes it so special, you know, and special mm. to be part of. And intimately, right? Intimately, yeah. we're not in a movie. We're in their living room. We're in yeah. their living room, right? Every week and consistently yeah. too. That's another thing. It, it happens every week, right? You get a, yeah, it's like a family. relationship. Do not underestimate your contributions to people's lives. I mean, I, I, like, like Rainbow, I have struggled with depression all my life. And all of you, I mean, I am so blessed to have all of you in, in my life in one form or another. I love you guys. You have been, you know, I, it's, it's been so good uh, growing with you over, over these, these past years and continuing to share what uh, was such an important chapter in science fiction and, uh, and a quality show that made us think and made us wonder and made us ask those questions. Well, thank you, David. Thank you. You're always so supportive and you're always bringing us together and you're always creating. And thank you. Thank you for this. This is lovely to see all this. Yeah, it really was. But thank you. This was a great thing to do. All of you. Thank you so much for making this this happen and recognizing the important work that you that you guys did and and continue to do as this thing gets reinvented, you know, again and again throughout throughout the years. So one one quick question. Yes or no. Cindy Hayward, Just Another Day, Ryeth Hunt, Whiskey Barber, Redux, and Phil. Hang in there, Tori. All wanted to know, <laughs> would you be game for returning for SG4? Because I know Tori. Rainbow, I know Ford's, Ford's, Ford, Ford's going to own the Pegasus Galaxy by the next time we see him. He's <laughs> not course. dead. I don't believe it. So, <laughs> Tori, you go first. Yes. Uh, yes. There's my Hi, dog. Hi, Zig go oh, Yes. Absolutely yes, we do it in a heartbeat. I do it in a heartbeat. Look, I just answered for all of us. I'm gonna thank go you, Tori. Go, thank you, Tori. Love, Tori. So good to see you guys. Thank so you. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, Take you, care. Tori. Bye. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, you guys will be down. Yes. Legit. Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, yeah, we was yeah. Then we'd be Fine. stupid not to, frankly. Yeah. I mean, look, that's one of the you know what to talk about. One of the things you you get out of this is that you know it takes so little to make someone's day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're on the subway and someone says something and you say hi back or, you know, or yeah. shake their hand or sign something for them. I mean, like, it's just such a great, I so a great pick me up. You know what I mean? Like I never thought, mm-hmm. I, I never thought like 20 years later, you'd still be, you'd still get that kind of little, little ego boost every, every couple of, you know, every couple of weeks or whatever. It's, 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 it's lovely. It's great. When you go to your house, your little, basement dwelling that you're in yeah when i look in the mirror and i say you're a you're a really good actor <laughs> i would i would love to i've said can you this sign can you sign you know like yeah, yeah. yeah. Rainbow. oh i i just said i've said this to you before but i yeah. i would love to you know i've grown so much since then yeah. i would love to be able to 
revisit for now uh, with much more insight and more. It's been great watching you, Rainbow. Like, honestly, like you're just like, just get better and better every time. Every time I see you, it's just, it's amazing to see see what you've got up to. Yeah, Paul, you've just got worse, but but uh, but Rainbow, you really (laughs) really picked it up. David, you just never stop talking. It's <laughs> I got to get that fifty percent comedy in, right? I, oh, yeah, yeah. Something's got to be funny. Fifty <laughs> guys, this has been terrific. Thank you so much for taking so much time with us. We, we went a little bit over, but uh, it's going to be been gold in my for the apartment fans. for a year. I have yeah. <laughs> okay. none, none of us are like d- dashing off, really, are we? We're well, waiting. You know. The- yeah conventions they're they're not gone for good i i think we're really starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel here and uh i can't wait to see y'all in person again yeah and likewise. my tremendous thanks to david hewlett tori higginson paul mcgillian rachel luttrell rainbow sun franks david nickel and robert picarder for joining us uh in this very special 100th episode and i have as you know trying to get back to the root of what this show has been about the fans stargate art for you this is one that i've been hanging on to a while this is steampunk atlantis by lena and she describes it as archival photograph from the atlantis expedition of 1907 for an au prompt challenge using the main stargate atlantis team my prompt was steampunk as usual many references used all the characters are referenced I looked at vintage photos for ideas of the poses and some of the costumes, notably Rodney's pose and clothes are referenced from a vintage photo of H. Ryder Haggard. This is an homage since I read and loved his books as a kid, and he's partly responsible for my love of the concept of steampunk. The Zeppelin is based on vintage photos of the Graf Zeppelin. My thanks to my team, as always, for continuing to make the show possible. Um, Summer, Tracy, Keith, Jeremy, Reese, Anthony, uh, and Linda Gategabri Fury, my producer, and my production assistant, Jennifer Kirby. 100 episodes, man. It took us a little bit, but not as long as I would have thought. So I will be back this fall with uh, season two. And we will be going from there. But we're going to continue to pump out content over the summer. Hope you're enjoying that. And that's what we've got. Thanks so much for tuning in to Dial the Gate. My name is David Reed, and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the other side.